scrumptious food is all around us. It's in every corner of the world. The problem is, you gotta find it. Lucky for me, I live in a city which happens to be home to countless cultures bringing their delicious traditions here from all around the globe. Los Angeles sautés it all up in one big jambalaya pot of flavor, West Coast style, and I'm on a mission to find the best of the best food in town. What's up all you food lovers out there? I hope you're hungry because you are in a food town. Welcome to LA. We are on an exploration to find out why the food trucks run the show. Everyone in America loves a good burger. If anyone says otherwise, they are not to be trusted. An unforgettable burger is a simple yet complex architectural piece of art that must be structurally sound. Only a select few have mastered the precision of using perfect proportions from the bun to meat ratio to all the fixings. Now, of course, you've heard of In-N-Out and Fatburger and some random group of five guys, but it's time that you meet Naeem, a burger boss with a hit restaurant on wheels. Burger guys. Yeah, you heard it right. Burger. V. Like Victorious, which is what Verger Guys has become in LA after four former NCAA athletes teamed up to launch one of the most popular food trucks headed by Naeem. We caught up with Naeem, who is one of the masterminds behind Verger Guys. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling blessed, you know what I'm saying? Thankful. Absolutely. You know, excited for the future of Verger Guys and um, just for the year. Yeah, man. So tell us, I mean, Rugger Guys is one of the most popular food trucks in LA. How did the idea all come about? Honestly, it was a lifestyle. I think it was a lifestyle that, you know, was brought on from me to all my friends and the mm -hmm. people that was around me. Mm -hmm. So, like, it being a, a lifestyle allowed me to just naturally, organically, make it come true. Absolutely. Yeah. So you say lifestyle, so you were already eating healthy. Yeah. Were yeah. you a vegan before? Yeah, I was I was eating, well, yeah, I'm gonna say a vegan. Um, right now, I would say I'm a conscious eater just because there's so many levels to veganism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I really don't want to be put in a category and yeah. in a box. For and sure. when, I, when I connect with our customers and our supporters, it, I like to let them know that, you know, eating clean or eating um, plant-based you know, it's, it's the same thing as eating any other thing. Right, yeah. You know? It's just, it's a mindset. But Burger Guys is more so a gateway. It allows right. you to, to to know that you can eat um, a plant-based burger and not lose the fact of eating like an In-N-Out burger, or a Absolutely. Five Guys burger, or a fat burger. Yeah. So that's what, that's, that's sure. what Burger So you say it's a gateway, meaning that people often don't even realize that they're eating a plant-based yeah. meal. So yeah, yeah, they don't even know. Opens yeah. up their whole world to the possibilities yeah. of Yeah, so they they, they might they might say I can never eat a you know, a vegan option and then yeah. then they find out that they can actually, you know, you know, have a whole vegan lifestyle. Absolutely. So that's the difference. So tell us like about some of your partners. All you guys came together. Tell us a little about your history and how it made sense for you guys to kind of come together as business partners. Yeah, well, my partners they're, they're my friends, you know. So, you know, um my partner Phil, me and him uh, used to play basketball together. And uh, when I was eating uh, uh, vegan burgers in my house, yeah. you know, I, I told him I had an idea to one day, like, you know, just, you know, blow blow this vegan idea yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, it, it was just conversation for a few months. And then um, I started just continuing to cook the burgers. And it then, and then, it became from an idea to actually a dream that I wanted to, wow. you know, I wanted to do. And once I seen that I was converting all my friends over yeah. um, into just being able to want to eat a vegan burger over my, one of my vegan burgers from my house over an In-N-Out burger, wow. I, I realized that we, we had an opportunity to change the, the world. Yeah, I love that. So you're on wheels. You guys move around different parts of LA. Yeah. What are some of the challenges to being like a food truck? Our food trucks run the, the show pretty much in Los Angeles. Yeah, They're really I didn't popular. even realize that. <laughs> uh, you know, when we first got into uh, the game, you know, we basically, I, I thought about food trucks because I did my research and I realized it wasn't as expensive as restaurants. Mm -hmm. And it was, mm -hmm. it was, it gave me an opportunity to just take that first step, you yeah, know, just take that sure. first step and not, you know, jump too crazy just because I didn't have a culinary background. 
you know, I just started cooking at my house. Wow. Like, wow. And then it just came from there. Yeah, I mean, so the restaurant industry is one of the most challenging industries to navigate. More restaurants end up opening and closing than, than restaurants that are able to sustain and, you know, build the following. Yeah. So for you guys, has there been any challenges to, you know, just having a restaurant? Obviously, it's a smaller scale, but what have been some of the things that you overcome to become as successful as you are right now? Um, well, when I think about, you know, me and my, 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 um, my teammates, you know, the owners of the business, um, I think about, we all got, we all former athletes. Yeah. So former NCAA athletes, right? Yes, yeah. former NCAA athletes. <laughs> and when you think about that, you know, every day's a challenge. You yeah. know, every day's a challenge, you know, every day's an obstacle and you know, we were taught, how do you overcome these obstacles? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you mm -hmm. find, you know, solutions to problems? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So our biggest, our biggest problems we made easy, you know, to go by. Mm -hmm. Not to say that, you know, the challenge and the, and the, the journey has been easy, right. but we don't look at it like, oh, we can't do it. It's nothing that right. we can't do, you know? Yeah. With the four of us, I feel like the skies is the limit. I love it. Um, as long as we stay focused and believe in the vision, mm -hmm. I think, you know, any goals are any any goals are achievable. And for me, I just think it's just the beginning. For sure. It's really well, just the beginning. The sky is the limit. Yeah. And I love how you kind of show this how, you know, being an athlete kind of helps to instill discipline and that carried over into business as well. So yeah. anybody who's out there who might just be thinking that I'm just an athlete, well, you guys have discipline and you focus and you show up every day to achieve a goal and it translates over here to successful business. One of the most popular food trucks in LA. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you, like, I mean, we, how's it you know, feel? We're, we're living in it. So yeah. it's tough to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to let all that get to your head. For you sure. want to, you know, stay focused on the goal yeah. and allow yourself to, you know, continue to get better and better every day. Absolutely. You know? So that's just like in sports, you know, well, you, you, might, are... you might get a win, but yeah. hey, you got to stay focused the next week because what happens if you lose? Absolutely. So, yeah, that's the, that's the mindset. So your burgers are clearly winning. You know, and burgers have been around since apple pie. Yeah. But you guys have kind of put a little spin on it. I don't I don't want you to give us all these secret ingredients, but tell us about like just the construction of your burger. Like what goes into making this burger that's arguably as good, if not better, than In N Out? Um, honestly, I think it's about balance. You know, a balance yeah. of, you know, taste, you know, balance of being able to know like, you know, how much sauce, you know, you know, you know, how crispy you want the burger, how crispy, mm -hmm. you know. You want the fried onions, you right. know, so on and so forth. When you think about that, um, when I think about that, that's my perfect type of burger. So Got you. honestly, I just try to make the the best burger that I would like, and it happens to everyone happens to like, like it. it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, I tried it, and I definitely would say that it's it's if it's probably better than In and Out. Honestly, yeah. I don't eat meat, <laughs> but just the the way that you guys have the grilled onions, the cheese, the perfect amount of like, um, well, it's not a meat, but yeah. Can you tell us what you use as your meat yeah. substitute? Um, we use Beyond Meat. So Beyond we meat, use Beyond okay. Meat. You know, we put our own touch to it, marinate it. Um, yeah. And we've been using Beyond Meat since we started. Well, it's um, delicious. And then, yeah. of course, the soft bun. Was there anything about the bun that is special about? I mean, it's a sesame bun uh, that we like. It's light, you know what I'm saying? Um, super soft. Yeah, super soft. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. We don't want to tell too much of the yeah, secrets. I get but, it. I get it. There's, you know, there's competitors yeah. out there. They're watching and taking yeah, notes. Yeah. So They got to. You know, <laughs> you, you know and, and, you know, I, I wish them well. You feel me? Absolutely. So, yeah. No doubt. Well, yeah. we want to see more of your burger. So could we check it out inside and yeah, see what you guys Yeah, we can jump on the truck and, you know what I'm saying, come closer to For the sure. burger. All right. Let's do it. All right. So we made it onto the Burger Guys food truck. Now tell us about your operation. Like, how does it all go down? Um, so this right here is the classic. Um, so we start off with our burgers right now. Uh, we got our burgers, the marinated burgers. They they off to the side, okay. and then we just we throw them down here on the grill. Um, that's the first thing. Then take the buns. Uh, I can give you one secret. We lose a little avocado oil. That's the last secret. Yeah. <laughs> you avocado know, oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that makes the our buns flavorful. I love um, that. So avocado oil is one that you can heat up a little bit higher. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. It's, that, so. it's, that, it's for uh, sautéing and things oh. like that. Yeah, that's secret. So, that's the only secret you guys are gonna get. Yeah, to only that. secret. That's it. <laughs> Ain't no more secrets. Um, so after we do that, you know, we uh, you know, we cook the burger to our standards. Okay. Um, yeah. And and when we think about our burgers, we think about the fact that we want that that flavor profile of uh. A cookout, mm. you know, you like, mm. and, and everybody loves a cookout. Mm. Everybody loves, 
you know, mm -hmm. that that time that they was, you know, at a family reunion, Absolutely. at their summer cookout, and that's the that's the type of stamp we try to put, I love that. you know, on our food yeah. when it comes to uh, Yeah, there's burger. something about eating outside, cooking outside, something about that brings a different taste yeah. to the flavors, yeah. you yeah, know. Yeah, definitely. So we want to order one, uh, whatever you suggest, we want to just get. Okay. The most popular one. Okay. And I then think, I think the uh, the burger. The burger. The sunrise sauce. That's that's All the right, one. Let's do it. The sunrise sauce. Is that is yeah. another secret sauce. Uh, -huh. it's our special sauce. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get that one. Let's do yeah. one of those. Okay. Um, just the burger by itself. Okay. Did you want one? Okay. All right. So he wants the chopped one though. You guys okay. do the chopped? Yeah. Do uh, we got the cheese steak. Okay. That's so fine. yeah, we got a cheese steak. That's the type. Perfect. That's the newest thing. That's the new thing. To, to, yeah, it's the newest uh, thing. So you guys got additions coming in all the time. Yeah. So is it, yeah. it's a cheesesteak? Yeah, it's a cheesesteak. Wow. It's, it's on a burger bun. Just Dope. because we want, you know, we want to continue to keep our profile. Absolutely. And things like that. Yeah, the burger. All right, cool. Yeah, let's just do one of those. And if you could, can you show us, like, can you talk us through it? Or can he talk us through it? Or um, somebody I explain yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, when I think about talking y'all through it, I mean, just telling y'all how to make it. Well, you could say, well, now he's... Um, okay, well, so on. that burger actually has uh, fried onions and fried jalapenos on it. Okay, okay. So that, that's, that's, that's the specialty on that burger. Gotcha. Um, we only have two burgers, basically our classic um, and, our, and our burger. Okay. But our burger has three extensions to it. So it's, it's all on sauce. So you can do a sunset sauce, you can do a sunburn sauce, gotcha. and you can do a sunrise sauce. Ooh. That sounds so juicy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what's so, your favorite sauce? Um, the Sunrise. I like to keep it basic, yeah. simple. Um, yeah, basic. And I might add good. a little agave mustard. We have our own agave mustard, so oh, wow. I might add that to it. Yeah. If I'm feeling spicy that day. <laughs> Eman, you want? You gonna make a? Can you make a burger for me, please? I think. And you said a classic also. Yeah, do a classic. Or two, whatever you think. Two yeah. of them. Okay. No, do a, a cheesesteak and a burger. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, damn, this is a sunrise sauce? Sunburn. Sunburn. And that's sunrise, sunrise. right? Oh, yeah. damn. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, well, it's time. It only took five minutes, maybe, but he's real particular. He doesn't have the food sitting around. He believes in high-quality food. He says that he's you're picky a little bit, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I'm picky, and um, for me being picky, you know, I stand on our brand. Mm -hmm. And um, Burger Guys, we're the home of the one-bite warranty. One-bite warranty? Yeah. What is get, that exactly? I mean, you get one bite to try the burger. Yeah, and right. if you like it, you know, just continue to eat it and pay, you know, you already paid for it. But if you don't like it, you know, you definitely have the ability to return it, you know, and get your money back and, okay. and go on about your day. That's kind But actually, this is the cheesesteak right here. Oh, this is the cheesesteak. Okay, yeah, that's the cheesesteak. Okay. All right, so, cool. So you explained, you said you can see inside there, if you guys can see it. Is that barbecue sauce in there? Yeah, yeah. Barbecue so, with that's the, the sunburn the sauce sun, right there. All right, so sunrise with barbecue makes sunburn. Yeah. And this is the sunrise sauce. Yeah, that's the sunrise sauce. All right, cool. It's funny, you know, you know who Dave Portnoy is? He's got the uh, Barstool Sports. Okay. This dude goes around and he just tests pizza places all over the country. Okay. But he has a rule where he says one bite only. Okay. And then that's kind of how he judges it based off of just one bite. Oh. And I'm looking at it. yeah, because okay. I mean, you know, you take three or four bites, but I'm looking at your burger here. Yeah. And all of the ingredients are right there at the front, so yeah. you really only need one bite yeah. to get everything at one time. So let's yeah. go for it. It's, this is what it's all about. I'm gonna get some of that sunrise sauce on there. Yeah. Hold this sauce for a moment. I'll get the tripping. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can already tell. I mean, the proportion from the meat to the bun. I love how you got the lettuce on there. The cheese yeah. oozing out in the perfect yeah. way. Got some good pickles in there. Got some, ooh, ooh, yeah. man. Everybody love a good pickle. Yeah. All right, let's see, here it goes. Mm. Oh, man. Mm, mm, <laughs> Let me mm. get you some napkins. Mm. Man. So the first thing I noticed All is right, the crunchiness. Baby. Yeah. Got a good crunch. Nice crunch. Yeah. Hella flavor. Yeah. That's the, that's the char. It's juicy. That's the char. Yeah. Man, the bun is perfectly soft. All I got to say is in and out Five Guys, Fat Burger, y'all better watch out. How many trucks you got now? Uh, we got two trucks. You got two um, trucks. Oh. You know, this summer we're going to be uh, opening uh, a couple of uh, restaurant spaces. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. So we'll go into a franchise wow. um, package and uh, allow other people to own a burger, guys. Man. And, um, and, you know, change their city, you know, change the outlook on their city Absolutely. and things like that. Yeah, so Burger Guys coming to a city near you. Yes, 100%. You want to be a part of it? Yeah. Reach out to Naeem. Yeah. 
Are Mr. Burger yeah. or Burger Guys on Instagram. Man, thank you so much, man. I, I can't wait to dive into this all the way. Yeah. I wouldn't add anything to this. This is perfect. I don't need no ketchup. I don't need nothing. Yeah. This is ready to go. Burger. Yeah. Oh, got man. fried onions, fried jalapenos. Man, yeah. thank you. Make sure y'all get a good look at this. Come get some. Come get some. Burger Guys. Burger Guys. Oh man, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, Thank my you. guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, y'all could go ahead and enjoy y'all food, man.